Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the first video on financial accounting. In this video, we are going to talk about forms of business organization, users and uses of accounting information, principal types of business activity, financial statements and components in an annual report. By acquiring these skills and knowledge, individuals will be well equipped to understand and navigate the fundamental aspects of business organization, accounting information, financial statements, and the broader context of annual reports. Please like, subscribe and share my channel to search for accounting lessons and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For all of your questions, comments and suggestions, please put them in the comment section below. And for webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Accounting is a K. We hope that this video helps students in their academic development and teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies. So let us start with the forms of business organization. The choice of business organization has significant implications for entrepreneurs. A sole proprietorship business is owned by one person. It is simple to be set. It provides control over the business and it is common in a small owner operated businesses like barber shops, law offices, auto repair shops, farms and retail stores. Partnership is owned by two or more individuals as partners. It is formed to pool resources and skills. It requires a written partnership agreement to formalize duties and contributions. It often chooses by by retail and service type businesses, including professional practices. A separate legal entity is owned by stockholders in the case of a corporation. Stockholders receive shares indicating ownership. It is easier to raise funds as shares of stocks are easily transferable. It is attractive for individuals with smaller investments. It provides limited liability to stockholders, separating personal assets and business debt. The factors to be considered while deciding the form includes taxation. So sole proprietorship and partnerships generally receive more favorable tax treatment than corporations. Legal liability in the case of sole proprietors and partners. They are personally liable for business debts, while corporate stockholders have limited liability. Although there are more proprietorships and partnerships, however, corporations generate significantly more revenue. Next, let us talk about the users and uses of accounting information. The purpose of financial information is to serve as a crucial tool for decision making within organizations. Accounting as an information system plays a pivotal role in identifying, recording and communicating the economic events of an organization to a diverse group of interested users. Internal users primarily include managers responsible for planning, organizing and running the business. These managers spanning various functions such as marketing, production and finance rely on accounting information to address critical questions related to business operations and strategy. External users encompass a variety of stakeholders, including investors, that is owners, creditors, 
taxing authorities, customers, labor unions, and regulatory agencies. Their utilization of in accounting information varies based on specific needs and concerns. Like investors, they use accounting information to make decisions regarding buying, holding, or selling stock. Creditors evaluate risk associated with selling on credit or lending money. Taxing authorities examine compliance with tax laws. Customers assess the company's ability to honor warranties and support product lines. Labor unions determine the company's capacity to meet increased wages and benefits. Regulatory agencies ensure compliance with prescribed rules and regulations. The diverse information needs of these external users are highlighted by their respective questions ranging from financial performance to ethical business practices. Regulatory agencies in particular play a crucial role in investigating companies to ensure adherence to rules as exemplified by past cases involving energy trading companies. In essence, accounting serves as a universal language that facilitates communication between the internal workings of a business and its various external stakeholders, contributing to informed decision-making at both organizational and external levels. Next, let us talk about business activities. All businesses are involved in three core activities, financing, investing, and operating. The purpose of financing activities is to obtain funds for business operations. The sources of funds may be borrowing money through loans or issuing debt securities or issuing shares of stock to investors. We also call them common stock. Liabilities, amounts that is owned to creditors. They are also financing activities and they include notes payable and bonds payable. Just keep one thing in mind that creditors have legal rights to repayment with specified schedules. Stockholders' claims are secondary and dividends are paid when sufficient cash is available. The purpose of investing activities is to utilize funds from the financing activities to acquire necessary resources. They invest in assets like computers, trucks, buildings. Another investment is in the form of cash that is so crucial for operations. The third type of activities are the operating activities and the purpose of core business organization is to produce and sell goods or services. Accounting information system tracks and records outcomes of financing, investing, operating activities. In essence, business follow a cyclical process where financing provides funds, investing utilizes those funds for resources, and operating uses those resources to generate revenue. The accounting information system is vital for monitoring and communicating outcomes contributing to informed decision making. Next, let us see how business communicates with the users. Now, financial statements serve as a crucial tool for conveying essential information about companies' financial well-being to users. The financial statements are the income statement, retained earning statement, balance sheet, and cash flow. 
First, let us talk about income statement. Now, the purpose of income statement is to report the success or failure of operations over a period. It lists the revenues followed by expenses resulting in net income or net loss. It helps investors and creditors to analyze net income for predicting future performance. Next, let us talk about retained earning statements. Now, the purpose of retained earning statement is to show changes in retained earning over a period of time. Its components are To show changes, uh, its components are here, we have the beginning retained earning. To this, we are going to add the net income. And then we will subtract the dividend. And we will be getting the ending retained earning. Now here, the statement is for one month. So the ending date is October 31st. Now retained earning is important. To evaluate dividend payments, practices, aiding investors and lenders in decision making. Next, let us come, next comes rather the balance sheet. And the purpose of balance sheet is to report the assets and the claims to assets at a specific point to time. And you can see the specific point here is October 31st. In a balance sheet, assets are listed first, followed by liabilities and stockholder equity. Balance sheet is important to creditors to analyze for repayment likelihood. It helps to assess the company's financial position. Finally, comes the statement of cash flows. The purpose of the statement of cash flows is to provide information about cash receipts and payments over a period. It provides details of cash effects of operating, investing and financing activities. It helps to answer questions about cash sources uses and changes aiding users in understanding the cash flow now the retained earning statement you can see here depends upon the income statement the income is recorded in the income statement and then this amount is transferred to the retained earning statement the balance sheet and the retained earning uh, earning statements are also interrelated. You can see here we have we have recorded the ending retained earning and this ending retained earning is added to the stockholders equity. The statement of cash flow relates to the information on the balance sheet. You can see over here the cash at the end of the period that is stated in the balance sheet must match the inflow and outflow of cash that has taken place during the period. So understanding these interrelationships is crucial for preparing accurate financial statements and comprehending the impact of each statement on the others. Financial statement offers valuable insights for investors, creditors, and other stakeholders aiding in decision making process. Next, let us talk about other elements of an annual report. Publicly traded US companies are mandated to provide shareholders with an, in, with an annual report encompassing more than financial statements. Key components include 
MDNA that is management decision and analysis. Its purpose is to explore financial aspects covering the ability to meet obligations, fund operations and results of operations. It highlights trends, events and uncertainties with a degree of subjectivity. Then we have the notes to the financial statement. It is explanatory notes and schedules are integral to the financial statements, providing more clarity and additional details. Its descriptions of accounting policy, it is rather describes the accounting policies. It explains uncertainties and various details essential for comprehension. It is crucial for understanding operating performance and financial position. And then we have the auditor's report. It is conducted by an independent auditor, typically a certified public op uh, accountant. It states the auditor's perspective on the fairness of the financial presentation and adherence to accounting standards. A unqualified in opinion indicates that the auditor contentment with the fair representation of financial position. Any opinion other than unqualified demands careful interpretation. These elements collectively offer a holistic perspective on a company's financial health, delivering insights beyond numerical data and facilitating a more informed analysis by stakeholders. So this completes the first video on financial accounting and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and if you found value in this video then please like, subscribe and share my channel and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Remember, effective questioning brings insight, which fuels curiosity, which cultivates wisdom. If you have any question or any suggestion regarding this session, then please put them in the comment box below or by email and inshallah, I will reply you back. Thank you so much and happy learning.